Hello, so today we're going to learn a little bit of how to use ProPresenter. Um, in the studio, the Livingstone studio, um, the ProPresenter computer is the second from the last. Um, and first, um, to make a new, um, new presentation, we're going to press Praise and we're going to add new presentation and we're going to add um, the song title here whichever it is and then create new and um, over here we're going to on the bottom plus add new slide and we're going to edit the slide. You could either press this button or this, um, right click and then edit slide. And then we are going to double click this and write um, our lyrics here. Jesus is risen, let's say. Um, and we can adjust where it is by clicking outside of the text box and then clicking it once here and we're going to drag this down and then you could also move it whichever whichever you want or whichever position you want and then once this text box is selected we're going to go to this tab here called text and we can um, adjust the text here the font I personally like Candera. Um, it's like a little bit like Arial, but not as boring as Arial. And also you could adjust the size of it here. Um, so maybe make it 70 and it's a lot bigger. You can make it bigger if you want. Um, you could either bold it or italicize it, whichever you want. I'm just going to leave it unbolded. Um, once you have your final um, desired font text style, we're going to go to show. We're going to press show mode, which will take us back to this part. Um, once we make our first um, slide with the lyrics and the style that we want, we all we have to do is control and I mean copy and paste. So what I like to do is I use the shortcut control C and then control V to paste. Control V to paste. Why is it not working? Control C, Control V, there we go. Control C, Control V. Um, I like to just make a lot. Um, one important thing is if we go back, um, if you go to like another song that is already made, um, I want us all, all to make it, make the lyrics like as the song order. So um, if the chorus starts again after verse two, just keep on going with the chorus, verse three and the chorus again. And if verse one or the bridge comes along, just make it so the person who's um, doing the pro presenter, all they have to do is press the next button. And they don't have to really look at, oh, where's the beginning of chorus or like, where am I? All they have to do is press next. Um, so let's try to do that. And then um, if you go back to the one that we made right now, just for um, sample. Um, so what we have to do also is we have to put the song in here. So if you look at the um, presentation save, there's already, um, there's a song over here and I made the grouping media. I'll show that to you later. But first, let's just put a random song because this is just a sample. And then it's gonna import. And then what we're going to do is, we uh, first we just keep this slide as just blank, just in case we need a blank screen. Um, and also, um, this is the song. So once this, 
once you press this, the song will be playing, if you can see. Um, I'm not sure if the if you could hear the song, but it's playing, nevertheless. Um, what we're going to do to make it look very easy and noticeable that it's a song is we're going to right click, go to group, and press media. Then this one will turn orange. Um, this all turns orange, but we will fix that. Um, we will fix that soon because this one, let's say this is the verse, right? So group, and we would go verse one. And let's say this is the beginning of the chorus, then we would group, and then we would do chorus. Okay, and then let's say this one starts verse two. So you kind of keep going and going and um, it'll kind of change colors um, accordingly. Let's say this is the bridge and then this would be the chorus. So you kind of get the gist, right? So it kind of goes like that. So um, the song will always be in the front and then it will kind of go like that. Um, I'm not sure which else you should know about, but um, for the person who's um, doing the pro presenter, like um, doing the song and the lyrics, um, right now, I'm not sure if you guys need to know this, but just in case, there's the music and the um, this button is highlighted right now and that's just saying that there's audio and there's also like subtitles so let's say that um the audio like we don't want the audio and the subtitles then we could go clear all but if we did if you have both and then we just don't want audio like you could press that and then the audio will shut down um and then if you press audio again but it's like the wrong lyrics you can't find which one it is um, you can press this clear slide and then find the right one and there we go. Um, clear all to clear everything. And yeah, that's all. Um, after you make the slides, what we're going to do is we're going to create playlists, new playlists right here. And we're going to add the Sunday um, service date. So let's say it's um, the 18th. And we are going to go to praise. Um, let's see, actually, um, we're gonna go to slides and we're gonna add before praise. And go back to slides and after praise. We're going to add that to this playlist. And we're going to also go to Praise Library, where all the praise songs are. And we're going to go and insert the song in the playlist that we are going to go um, have during the praise set. Um, let's see, I believe. Um, maybe Hush for the last one. Um, and then this one is after praise slides, so we're going to drag that up to the bottom. And what we should have is in this playlist, you could see the whole thing. If you go down, 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 like scroll down, it'll all be on this one um, page. So that's the reason why we made the playlist instead of just going from praise like one by one and then going to slides again and then finding which video we need. Um, this is why we make a playlist. And um, we are going to go to the beginning before praise. And this will be the countdown. If you can see, that's the countdown that started. Um, and then this one, opening offering, is like in that order. So once this goes, let's see, let's press that. And then let's go all the way to the end. And let's say that the countdown ended. Right after, we're going to press opening, which will open the service up. 
And then you could also see when this um, slide ends. So when it ends, we're going to press the slide. And then we'll see that it ends and we're gonna press this. Praise God. Um, this is the transition to the praise. And then we're going to press this. Um, right now it's empty because the camera isn't on, but once um, Sunday happens, um, you'll see um, on this screen, on the program, um, Julia director or whoever's leading praise, you'll see them there here. Um, and when they are ready, then you will press this. Say, let's say, oh, let's praise God with the song Glory. And then you will press the song, which will start the song. And you can also press this music button to see how it's going. And then we will press over here. And then you would just press next. And then if you press the next button, you could just keep going. And the reason why we um, want to keep the lyrics as the song um, is so that the person isn't confused and we can just go next, next, next. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have any questions, but I will go to the next one. So let's say that the song is ending. Okay, we are next. And then we will press this empty slide. Um, and let's say that like by accident you press this, um, but then Julia Leader is like, oh, like she has to do um, comment, then press clear, all. Oh. And the music will stop. Um, so yeah, that's how it goes. Um, let's see. Okay, after the last song, um, press blink again, and then after um, the last prayer, then we would press this slide, Sermon for Kids. And um, actually this would be, um, this is like a picture slide. So prayer for sermon, if, the, if there's like prayer, then we can press this. But if there's no prayer, um, then we can skip here because we already prayed after the last song. So um, after the sermon for kids transition, you could go right to the sermon slide. Um, every week um, there will be, this is last week's sermon. Um, okay, um, right there, um, the audio wasn't showing, so I just assumed, oh, maybe it's here. So I just pressed that, and then I pressed the pause button to pause. Um, this one is last week, so I will delete this. And we need to get um, on Sunday morning or whenever um, the pastor will um, bring their sermon. And um, you have to make sure that there's a sermon right here um, before the slide, Lord's Prayer. Um, because after this slide is over, um, we will press this slide, which will start the Lord's Prayer. There. And, and then press this. Okay. And then after that, um, this one is tricky. Make sure because um, it goes black for a while. So after it goes black, just press this. See you next Sunday. And that is it. That is the end of live worship. So clear, um, you don't have to clear all, just have this like that. Um, and Che Pidinim will end the live stream. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please email me or text me, kakao me, whichever. Um, I would tell you guys, um, whoever is in charge of this from um, leading worshipers or the leaders who's making this, um, Please make sure that you kind of go through the slides. Um, come before, like come around nine or before nine um, to see how this is going. Um, to kind of go through each slide um, to know which slide is which. Um, make sure that all the audio is working. Um, and 
and then and then make sure that the sermon is always before this Lord's Prayer title. Got it? All right, that's all. Thank you, everyone. Um, again, if you have any questions, please email me, kakao me, text me. All right, bye.